Hello and welcome ninth grade. Please miss. Um, today we will discuss something. It's hard to discuss it here too, uh, but we have to try. The passive. You know what I mean to passive? If you don't know who or what uh, do uh, something, or it is not important to do to know who is doing who is doing something, we use the passive. This is the passive. No subject. We don't know the subject of the uh, of the action. Okay. Uses to talk about um, processes. Okay, about some processes. Or when we don't know who or what does something, or it is not uh, important to know who do it, who do do it. Simple present passive. We will start with simple present. Look at the form. We will start with the object, then verb to be is are, then past participle verb three of the verb. Look at the sentence. She speaks English fluently. Aha! Uh -huh. This is here. It is an active sentence. Active why? Because there is a subject. We start with the subject, so it is active. We know she speaks English. Speaks verb one with us, it is simply present. So, I know this sentence is simply present. I want to make this sentence passive sentence. At first, we have to find uh, where is the object. And this is the object. We will put it to the, uh, uh, in the, at the first of the sentence. English. English is singular or plural. It is singular. It will take is or are. It, will, it takes s. Speak the verb three men has spoken by her by her or without it, it's okay. Fluently at the end. Remember okay or fluently by her, it's okay. If you switch this, it's okay, but by her it is not important to put it, okay? But the important thing, we look at the first sentence, which is active sentence. Active because we start with the subject. We will try to know what the type of the sentence. Speak with verb 1 or verb 1 with S or ES. It is simply present. We will switch it like this. We try to find the object, put it at the first. Then we will determine the object is singular. It will take S, is. Or it's plural, it took R. The verb three from the verb above speaks spoken, and the rest of the sentence. They work in this company. In this company is the object we put it at the first company. This company is singular. Tokwa is the verb three of work worked by them. Okay. Mark designs the Facebook and other programs. The Facebook and other programs are plural. Talk what? It is all of the objects. Are designed, the verb three from designs, by mark or without it, it's okay. Do you understand, miss? So, the active sentences, we change it to the uh, passive sentence by... Uh, we look at the object, put it at the first, then we determine if the object is singular or plural, we put is or are, the verb three from what, the verb above. If we have adverb, adjectives, or something else, we put it at the end of the passive sentence, okay? Now, we have something in the book about the internet. Did read the text and answer the questions? When did scientists start work on the internet? On the internet, who invented the internet as it is today? The internet. The internet is used every day by millions of people all over the world, but its history is not often mentioned. How and when was the internet created? The internet wasn't invented by a telecommunications company or by a group of computer uh, enthusiasts who are interested in this. In fact, it was originally a military, a military project called ARPANET. In 
the 1916s, some scientists were asked to design a network of computers like a, like a spider web. The network was designed to continue working even after um, a nuclear attack. At this stage, just four American universities' computers were connected by the internet. Tim Berners-Lee is considered to be the inventor of the modern internet. In 1989, he came up with the idea of using links to go from one page to another. The World Wide Web was born. How the internet used today? Today, powerful computers with fast internet connection are found in most homes. Yeah. The internet is used for almost everything we do. From business and research to shopping, listening to music and sharing our favorite photos with friends. It's hard to imagine a world without it. Yes, it's clear. It is in 2007 and the internet was very important. What about our days? So if I, they ask, when did scientists start works on the internet? Uh-huh. In the... 1960s. Who invented the internet uh, as it today? Tim Berner Lee. Okay, the, the rules and examples, sentences. We use the passive to talk about processes. Computer games are designed by programmer, programmers and artists, and then they are tested. Or we use it when we do not know who or what does something, or it is not important to know who. Or what? A lot of games are played over the internet. Present passive. Sorry. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Underline three examples of the present simple passive in the text from exercise one, then complete the rules. But I will complete the rules. Uh, we form the present simple passive with the present simple of B is R and the past participle verb 3. Um, the, inter- hey, the internet is used every day by millions of people over the world. Uh, the internet was in the past. Nowadays. Powerful computer with fast internet connection are found in the, uh, the, in the most homes. The internet is used for almost everything we do. Okay? Complete the dialogue with verbs in brackets. Use the present simple passive, then listen and check. I know how to write emails, but how do they actually get to the other end? Well, emails are not sent as words. First, the words are converted into electronic signal and they are sent down ordinary telephone lines to the internet. Then the message is uh, transmitted uh, from computer to computer until it is received uh, at the right address. So how is the message made into word again? Well, basically the signals Uh, are interpreted uh, by the computer program and they are translated back into the original message. Look at these pairs of sentences. Which sentence uh, says say what people are or things uh, do? Watch. Which sentences say what happens to people or things? People exchange information on the internet. Uh, it's talk about uh, what people uh, or things do. Information is exchanged on the internet. What happened to things? They make a lot of computers in Asia. Uh, what people are uh, do? A lot of computers are made in Asia. What happened to things? Okay. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Use the present simple active or passive. How many millions of email are written every day? Okay. Wait a minute. So, repeat how many millions of emails are written every day. Some people uh, don't like email. They 
prefer they prefer writing letters because it is active letters are uh, no letters seem more personal because they uh, are delivered by hand today almost everything is sold on the internet important documents uh, is are usually uh, sent by mo post uh, do you enjoy getting letters through the past uh, the post? Okay, that's for today present simple passive and tomorrow we will discuss past simple passive if Allah wants May Allah protect you and all of you uh, Thanks for today. See you tomorrow